Hi, it's Chuck Stout, curator at the Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum, back with you again to talk about another one of our less appreciated treasures here at the museum. Now, a lot of you, I know, have built model airplanes when you were children, and a lot of you never outgrew that in your model makers in your adulthood, like I am. But this is a really big model airplane. This is a model of a Douglas DC-8, one of the very first of the commercial passenger jet airliners. Uh, way back in the late 1950s, when this was a brand new airplane, United was trying to convince people that it was really okay to fly on the new jetliners. Most people were very excited to fly on jets, but a few people were just a little bit questioning whether it was safe or not. I mean, it was a brand new thing. All the airplanes that they'd been acquainted with up until that time had had propellers. So United created a big traveling show. And this was a no fooling big show with circus tents and semi-trailers and this great big model airplane. And the model airplane was one of the focal points. They had a theater inside the circus tents and they had a life-size passenger cabin mock-up that you could go into and sit in the seats and so forth. But uh, this model, was commissioned uh, from Pacific Miniatures, which is a company that is still in business out in California, and it showed the interior features of the Douglas DC-8. But this model in itself is a real piece of artwork, and it's also a snapshot of what air travel was like in the late 1950s. So a few of the details that you might have missed if you just casually went through the museum, this model is big, it is one-tenth the actual scale of the, of the full-sized airplane. That gives it a wingspan of about 15 feet. Uh, the model weighs upwards of 500 pounds, uh, so it's very difficult to pick up and transport. It comes apart into pieces. And when Wings Over the Rockies acquired this model, it was in very, very sad shape. And thanks to the dedication and time of one of our longtime volunteers, John Bond, he pretty much completely restored this as close as we could to the condition that it would have been in in 1957-58. So let's look at some of the features in here. For one thing, all of the people are dressed up. Now there's several different uh, poses of people in here and they're all painted with different clothing and the paint has faded over the years, but you can still tell that people treated air travel as a big deal back then. A lot of the women are wearing corsages, all the men are wearing coats and ties, uh, even the children look well behaved. Uh, these figures are one of the highlights of the whole thing. Also on the tray tables is food. The food actually looks appetizing, even though it's, it's one-tenth scale. People in the front lounge up in this area are playing cards and chatting with each other, kind of emphasizing the smoothness and quietness that you'd find inside of a jetliner compared to a piston engine airliner. Uh, up on the flight deck, there's a crew of four that's working diligently to uh, navigate and operate all the complex systems and fly the airplane. As you move further back, there are people taking naps, people enjoying meals, people chatting with each other. One of the things that is really, I think, a wonderful little piece of information on this. The people are actually built to a smaller scale than the airplane. United wanted that cabin to look very roomy, and if you get in close and look at this, the aisle is probably about four, six feet wide. You could, you could drive a forklift down the, the aisle. The people in there are actually about seven-eighths the size of real people in that scale. So the cabin looks a lot bigger and more roomy than it actually was. That about wraps up our tour of the DCA model. Thank you very much for uh, coming and seeing this detailed view of one of our uh, little treasures here at Wings Over the Rockies, and we'll see you again. Thanks very much for watching. You know, we've got a lot of really great artifacts in this museum, and we can hardly wait until the time comes when we can open our doors again and you can come and see them in person. Until that time, we're gonna be working very hard to bring you new content, new demonstrations, new workshops, all kinds of wonderful things for you to watch on video. We're really dedicated to our mission of educating and inspiring people of all ages about the aerospace endeavors of the past, present, and future. If you like what you've been seeing, and if you wanna support our museum, please follow the link below and make a donation, and thank you, thank you very much.